From the beginning, this project has been all about taking a remote control car, sticking a webcam on it and hooking it up to the mobile phone network so we can drive it anywhere. Today, that is exactly what we do. What up YouTube, TK here with Alex. And we are here with T-Curve, the orange wheeled monster. Today we're gonna neaten things up a bit, make them more robust. We are going to add a webcam and a mobile data connection because that's what people want. We're gonna make T-Curve great again. I, I wanna vomit. Okay, so I'm here with Alex. We've got everything laced up. Since you've seen it last, T-Curve now has a webcam that's working over 3G with G-Streamer. We've got the Raspberry Pi hooked in. We've got our little power board here at the back powering everything. So we are having some lag issues. We're hoping they go away when we get out of the house, but this thing is actually finally ready to roll. I cannot believe it. Like, here we go, man. Here we go. All right, I'm leaving Alex in possession of T-Curve. I'm gonna go inside and try and drive this thing remotely. Can't believe this is finally it. T-Curve has connected to VPN, over. Copy that, over. Here we go, here we actually, we're starting it. This is it, it's, it's running. Control program started locally, over. Camera rolling, over. All right, here we go, I've lost one of my windows. All right, is that the right window? I can't tell. Attempting forward drive, over. Did anything happen? Over? No, nothing. Over. Turning operating. Fine. Over. Copy that. Over. Now we have some kind of other problem. Um, tell me if you hear clicks from a relay. Second attempt begins now, over. Camera rolling, over. Steering operational, over. Copy that, webcam feed unreliable as always, over. All right, I hope you're filming because I'm gonna try and just drive this thing forward as quickly as it'll go, over. Wish me luck. I'm holding down, I'm holding down forward, nothing's happening, absolutely nothing's oh, happening. Over. We have movement. We have movement, over. Saw that, over. Yeah, still getting really bad lag. I think we need a 4G dongle, over. So yeah, basically me and Alex have tried it now. We've been mucking around with it for about an hour now. We've got the webcam feed up and running. We've got the control program up and running. Unfortunately, the webcam is really laggy, um, you know, trying to run the control program and the webcam at once all over that 3G connection is a bit much. Um, the other problem we're having is just the drive motor isn't responding properly, so we're going to have a look at that and then we might just give it another crack. See how we go. We've got a new 4G dongle. We're going we're gonna to get this thing running. Right, boot it! So sometimes I just don't know when it's time to quit, so we've gone out. We have got a Telstra 4G Wi-Fi thing, and uh, we're gonna test this one more time. It's actually dark now, so we've gotta tape a torch onto the front of the T-curve as well. But I'm not giving up, let's do it. T-curve has been placed on footpath with lights on, over. Copy that, have good vision, about to attempt movement, over. Here we go. I'll just get the camera rolling, over. Holy crap, this is it, You can you can see it. Are we ready? Over. Camera rolling, over. Commencing attempt at movement, over. Oh Maybe. my god! <laughs> Holy crap, we're doing it. Oh god, no, I'm facing... Oh my god, it works. Are you seeing this? Yeah, it's awesome. Over. Oh my god! 
We're driving! What's it like to control, over? It's pretty good, over. There's definitely some sort of bug. There's a bug regarding for there's a bug regarding forward movement over, but we can work with it over. Oh my god, it's so good. Watch out, over. <laughs> Alex, this is amazing! Oh my god, do you want to swap over? Yeah, that, that'd be great. <laughs> T-curve actually works. I cannot believe it. Like, we can do this. We can do this. All we needed was 4G. Uh, I'm about to go out. Alex is going to have a drive. Holy shit. All right, I'm outside on the footpath with T-curve here. It looks amazing. It's actually working on 4G. Got Alex on the other end of the radio. He's about to have a drive. I can't wait. Ready when you are, honey badger. Okay, commencing movement. Over. Copy that. Uh, yeah, you look- Oh, alright, take it slow, take it slow, over. Do that. Holy crap, holy crap. We're having some problems, for some reason we have to reverse every so often, otherwise we can't go forward. I think it's a programming issue, but we'll, we'll work around it. Over. Yep, copy that. Uh, cancel all movement commands. I will attempt to fix here. Over. That, over. Alright, we're having trouble with fold and reverse. See if that fixes it. Try that. Commencing reverse, over. Yep, it works, over. Please be very careful. Small movements, there are many cars in the area. Over. That, over. Go. Holy crap! Holy crap, it works! That's your problem, over. You're in someone's front yard, over. <laughs> oh my god, this is so great. Oh my god, it's so good! Repeat that. Reverse, you've hit a fence. What was impact like, over? Good. Are you sure, over? Keep going, over. Don't run into the wall again, over. Video is still not operating, over. Ah, uh, yeah, you've, you've killed the stream. Um, Come out, come out to find me where you were, over. Over. So that was really successful so far, although Alex has just crashed and that's taken out the webcam somehow. Um, you can see the light on the webcam is no longer operating. But the theories here, we can actually drive the thing over 4G and that is just absolutely crazy to me. Um, that's, that's absolutely awesome. All right, so next day after mucking around, um, we've had some fun with it. We've got it going again. Bit of super glue, bit of messing with the VPN. We're gonna take it out for another drive while the sun's out so you can hopefully see something. I'll let you go, man. I'm gonna sit down here. Let's drive. Holy crap, it's good. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh my God, I can't believe how this is working. Alex, it's really good, over. Roger, over, quickly, over. 
<laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh, Holy shit, I can't believe it works as well. We're going as far as we possibly can, over. Are you touching it or just letting me drive over? I'm just letting you drive over. Good, I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll try not to drive on the road again, over. Yeah, good idea, over. Picking up T-Curb. No, negative, negative, negative. I, did you pick it up? No, I didn't pick it up, over. Did you pick it up, over? No, I didn't pick it up, over. Okay, continuing mission, over. Copy that. <laughs> this is amazing and a bit difficult. Roger that. Get out my way, please. Over. Oh my god. Say hi to that nice lady standing out the front of her house. Over. When you see this video, like, you don't need 320, man. This is, like, mint. Over. Yeah, probably better for Dino. Over. Latency is really good. Over. Yeah, my speed can control him pretty well. Over. Uh, speed controller and steering, um, analogness would be really useful because I'm sort of having a tap as I go over. The sun is really bright, but the center of the sun just shows up as a black dot. It's very weird, over. <laughs> That's pretty strange, dude. Over. Holy shit. Holy shit. It actually works. So I was thinking, you know, we're trying it out on the 3G dongle, this piece of crap, and I thought it's 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 not gonna work, the whole project's over. We swap it out last minute for a 4G Wi-Fi setup, and it works, and it's smooth, and it's fast, and it's responsive, low latency. T-curve is possible, and we saw that tonight. I'm so excited. Um, what can I say? Big thanks to Alex, he's a cool guy. I'm feeling pretty good. Thank you for watching. More to come. Till next time, TK out. Alex out.